Hello, this is Mark Dolan, radio presenter, audio producer, podcaster and voiceover. And it's audio journey again and it's stutter again. In the last one, we looked at producing a basic stutter and a basic glitch. This time around, we're looking at putting that stutter to a set BPM. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you've been asked to produce a DJ drop, for example, and you want to throw in a stutter, so you've got D, 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 DJ drop then you would want that at the BPM at which the mix is being made. There will be absolutely nothing worse than having your D, 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 DJ totally missing the beat of the song, and it would just sound awful. And that is why you would want to produce a DJ drop at a certain BPM, okay? So for this one, we have a simple voiceover. Stutter tutorial. And there it is, stutter tutorial. We'll go into the multi-track, and this is simply the easiest way to do this now. We'll drag in our voice on track one. We'll drag in our favorite copyright bit of music on track two. On track one, we will add a bit of processing to this, and off we go. Stutter tutorial. Right, what we'll also do is we'll just match up these in terms of match clip loudness so we get the same perceived volume here. And then we need to find beat one. There is beat one. So... We need to drag this over here. No, not both of them, just the one, if you don't mind. Uh, we'll drag that over there, and then count with me till we get to the second bar. One, two, three, four, one. There we are. That is the start of the second bar. So what we want is we want stutter to come in there. All right? So that's going to come in, and what you could do is you could have it so it comes in and it'll just hit the, the impact of the stutter. There we are. Okay. Now, trim off the bit that we don't need because we don't need it. And what we'll do is we'll take stutter. That's quite a long stutter, but we'll take that bit anyway, and we will then right-click on this, copy it, and we will find where beat one is. Copy here, find where beat one is. There it is. That wasn't bad, was it? Eh? That wasn't bad with the whole thing uh, zoomed in. So we'll take that and then we'll drag it across now so it also peaks on beat two. Copy here. Again, we want to now peak on beat three. Uh, and we will just line that up. I keep zooming in prematurely. Uh, and one more time, we want to take it across one more time so it goes to beat four, which will be there. And then you have your stuff, 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 stutter tutorial. There you go. That's on the beat. So if you are mixing at that BPM, your entire set is at that BPM. As long as you hit beat one with your stuff, with your first stutter then your whole thing is going to be in BPM match, and also it's going to take up two bars. Stuff, 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 stutter tutorial. And there you go. There is a very, very simple BPM stutter <laughs> tutorial. But what you could do here, I am thinking here, what you could do here, uh, we might just do this with a little bit of time and pitch. I didn't plan on doing this, but because this is two syllables, you've got the stutter, so stutter. You got two syllables, and if I was to do that, then we are. You see, if I do it like that, and then copy that to there like that, then we're just going to end up with sus. So now we've got something that sounds slightly stutter, different. Stutter, 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 stutter tutorial. And there you go. There's a slightly different way of doing it. Alternatively, if we undo that, what we could do now is we could go in here, and this may also affect the sound. This will affect the sound. Let's make no mistake here. Drag that down, and again, drag it in there like that, and that now should hopefully give you a slightly different sound again. Stuff, 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 stutter tutorial. And that's basically how you then mix a stutter tutorial jingle down. If we mute that off, we can mix it down, and there you go. Trim it up, don't need any of that. And there's your stutter jingle at that set BPM. Stuff, 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 stutter tutorial. Done. Simple. Again, you could go back into the multi-track and you could do what we did the other day. You could add in here on the effects rack. You could add in a bit of time and pitch. Use the pitch shifter. Leave it at default there. Drop this down to get your automation lines and show the pitch shifter. And then you'll get that pink line as well. Now, where the actual drop starts, you want that to be at the actual 
correct pitch. So that'll be pitch one. Here now, you can either start high, so it comes in... Stop, 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 stutter tutorial. Or again, as we said the other day, you could go low. Stop, 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 stutter tutorial. And what you may want to do if you're pitch shifting it is you may want to get rid of that and drag this one. No, 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 no. Don't do that because we did change the pitch of that, didn't we? Don't do that. Copy that one back in. Make sure you have got it lined up to the, uh, the beat, which would be there. And now you would have that effect with the, the pitch on it as well. Stop, 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 stutter tutorial. Or, of course, without the uh, the double glitch at the end, you could have it coming down. Stop, 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 stutter tutorial. And then what you could do, you see, is if you just work our way along here. Stop, 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 stop. There is beat two. Uh, there's bar three, rather. Beat one of bar three. What you could do now is you could drag all of this along, copy it and drop it there. So it is on the uh, the second beat, and then you could repeat it again. Just move it along, so you're hitting the uh, the opening of the beat on the actual peak. What you will see is this automation line here that we've put in does not move. When you copy or move something, it does not move. So if I was to select all of this and move it, the automation has stayed where it was. So if you do it uh, with the automation, that's not going to copy. But what you could now do. So you could start at one again, and you want to be at one there. And then you could do the opposite this time around. So you've got two now. And if we just mute this off so we don't get the track in the background. Stop, 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 stutter tutorial. Stop, 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 stutter tutorial. And there you go, under 10 minutes, and you have created a stutter, uh, even with a pitch shift as well. You've created a stutter at a set BPM. Obviously, you can match that BPM to whatever tune you want. I'm using a piece of copyright music, copyright-free music, so we can actually stick it out on YouTube. Otherwise, if I was to use a commercially available track, the video would get pulled, and that would not be of any help to anybody. So there you go. We have made a uh, stuttered effect jingle uh, drop now at the BPM. There's the two pitch shift versions, which are... Stop, 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 stutter tutorial. Stop, 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 stutter tutorial. There you go, job done. You could also uh, add in here, uh, that's the basic one that we did. There's the uh, the first mix down, if I could keep track of my files. Stop, 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 stutter tutorial. Again, at the, the BPM, one more thing that you could do here. If we were to go back into this track now and solo this only. Right, let's just take beat one. Beat one is there, and for this I will go into that. So we want that amount there, which is <clears throat> uh, 5420. 5420 is the, uh, the magic number that we're looking for there. And we could go into delay and echo, and we could have a bit of echo, and we would have uh, 5420. Or 542.0. And what is half of 542? I should know this, shouldn't I? What is half of 542? I'm frantically calculating this on my phone. I should have known that, really, shouldn't I? We can put that on 271. Uh, and then if we do echo bounce, now let's have a little listen as we add that to that track. I will move that slightly higher up here into the, uh, the processing. And if we have a listen now on solo, and you know now in that echo that you are hitting the beat of the song as well because we have calculated the length of the beat so you know that that echo is bouncing left to right one on every beat one on every half beat but it is on the beat so again now if we mix this one down now you can see that we have created these two uh, jingles. It does take a little longer now because we've added extra effects. And I was frantically hoping to get this done within 10 minutes, but we're going 
minor, minor moments over 10 minutes in doing this. But if we have a little look here now, uh, what we need to do is just get rid of that and again get rid of this at the beginning. You can see we put them too close together. The echo is still carrying on, but... Stutter Tutorial. Stutter Tutorial. And you can see here in this spectral frequency analysis that as it decays away, that is still on B as well. So there you go. We've made a BPM basic stutter. We've made a pitch shifted stutter. And we've also added a bit of echo in time with the beat as well. And hopefully that has been of some help to you. If you are ever producing DJ drops and someone says to you, I want them produced at X BPM. Now you know how to do it. Find yourself a song that is X BPM drag it in and then mix up your stutter, whatever it is. Maybe it's D, 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 DJ stutter, whatever it is. Uh, you could have your D, 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 D on with the beat just by copying in that tune. You could also do it in the multi-track by changing the uh, the display up the top here. Whilst this is in seconds, you can have time display in bars and beats, uh, but then you have to set the, uh, the BPM for that. So uh, there you are, edit tempo, you'd have to set the... Uh, the BPM for that. So that's why I've said the easiest way to do it, copy a bit of music into your multi-track session that is at the time, the tempo that you are mixing this DJ drop at. Mix it onto the beat or onto the half beat as well. If you want a glitchy one, go on the half beat rather than the full beat and then you'll get D -d 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 DJ. You see, rather than D -d 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 DJ by going on the half beat. If you're glitching, maybe you could go left and right like we did in the last one. Maybe you could add a bit of pitch shift in as well. So there you go. That is your stutter part two mixed onto the uh, BPM. Hope you've had fun watching this. The whole series, markdenham.com. You can head there uh, and, of course, you can uh, look at the the written tutorials and also all the, uh, the YouTube videos are all linked in there as well. If you do have any questions, then you can either stick them below as a comment or you can use the contact section on my website, and of course, if you do need any help with anything, get in touch on the contact section. If you need um, anything recorded for you, voiceovers, DJ drops, podcast producer, or anything like that, get in touch and I can help you out. That's it for today. Go have fun and produce yourself something absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs>